dismal dreary day here on the farm. It rained last night, which is good, which means we'll get that fence line out there cleaned out and ready to go. Um, we've got one little calf who still has scours. Um, he's not one of the ones that's in the barn. Those two are safe sound in the barn. They're all out here kind of doing their own thing. They're just kind of running around. They're not running. Miss Sweetie sees me. She says, I'm coming, Mom. I'm coming. What are you coming for, huh? I didn't bring cookies, baby girl. She's definitely ready for cookies. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, anyway, these guys are out here hanging around. Gordy's out there. He's gaining weight quite nicely. Still has a little trouble getting around. His leg doesn't straighten right, but you know what? He's alive and ready to go. So, he's fattening up. Mr. Murphy's there. He's hanging out. Right? That seems to be his little corner. He keeps digging up there. Making a mess. Um, but the real reason I'm out here is one of the things I'm working on today. Hey, 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 quit chasing the cat. Murph. Quit. When he sees he's going to catch him. When he catches him, he tends to grab him and sling him. So, <sighs> anyway. Okay, it's a chore just to get out here and not have to get onto anything, huh? The cat's running. He's like, mm hmm. Murphy should be in tow here in a few minutes. He'll come around and figure out he, he escaped. But okay. Through the gate I go. Alright, so here we go. This is the old barn, and I've given you a tour of it before, but I'm not sure that I've made myself clear on what we're really trying to replicate. Um, this is the old barn. All right, and it is a mess. It's got um, tubs and stuff in it. But this manger up here is what we're trying to replicate. Now, there's a reason that I'm not doing it exactly like this. In the old days, this is how it was built. These were, this was the divider. That didn't sound good. I think there's a cat up on top. There's stuff up there, <laughs> and it's not real great. Here it is. Okay, <laughs> creepy. Don't know what cat would be up there. What's worse is if it's a coon. Oh man. <laughs> okay, it's kind of just one of those days where you don't panic. You just keep going. We're just gonna keep going. Okay, so this is the old a frame. It's all done with wood. You can tell the wood is notched up there. Um, this is a really old barn. It's still sound. We've had it checked out. It's sound not great. Okay, something has not done another frame. Anyway, so this right here should have been one piece, but it rotted away, so they spliced it in. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? So, no, I'm not going to have a horse in here, but I love this old design. This is stall number one. This is stall number two. Now, stall number one is in better shape, but I can get to stall number two. Now, what I'm looking at is how they did this right here, and it's just nailed up there. I think I can do that. Um, we don't want ours. This is full of shingles and stuff from Lee's folks. I've never cleaned it out. Don't tell on me. Um, but I don't want it this deep for the fact that that's a lot of waste. Um, if a horse gets moisture down in that hay or whatever, um, it can actually make them very sick, colic, and actually cost them their life. So, as you can tell, this is shifted and sunk down in. This is the feed box. They're not very deep. Um... I don't know that I want ours this wide, but I'm going to measure it. I have my uh, book and measuring tape here. So I'm going to get off here just because I don't have enough hands. And I'm going to measure this box, measure this feed um, manger. This is an actual old time manger where Jesus lay in the manger. It was full up with hay and they made him a bed right there in the manger. So um, we're going to replicate these and I've got to get some measurements. So that's first Okay, part. I don't know if you can see it, but our little culprit is up there. Come here. Where are you at? Yeah, one of the cats got up there. I think it's Ying. There. See that little thing hanging out? Look at that. Little scary thing. Trying to scare me to death. <gasps> Who knew? Who knew? But, yeah. The upstairs is not very safe. This is a platform that's made there to go across so that you could get um, to the grain bin. When it was full 
not someplace I want to put my kids. Now we've got a couple old doors up there. And of course, the ever lurking cat. Goofball. See if I save you from Murphy again. Okay, so I measured this feed box. It's t um, I was right in my assumption that it was about um, 15 inches wide and it's two foot long. Um, these stalls were probably for large working horses. We don't have large working horses. We don't have draft horses. Um, so this right here is two foot from the back wall to this part right here. And when I came out here and measured, um, this is an actual longer stall than the other stall in which I would be creating it. So I think I'm going to back it off to about 18 inches, a foot and a half, because number one, we don't need all of the hay space for a large horse. Um, they're out in that area to graze too. So, um, I think that the 18 inches will give them enough headroom. It will be fine. And I'm going to make ours with a removable bottom. So I got to go work on that too.